Well, this is this liver, serotic liver, in front of you. From here, this is the right diaphragm, and up to this level, this is the liver. Okay. Now, this is the left lobe of the liver. This is the right lobe of the liver. This is the ligamentum venosum. This is the IVC and the portion between the ligamentum venosum and the IVC is the segment one of the quadrant tube of the liver. Now this is the transfer section of the left tube of the liver. In this you are seeing uh, echogenic area. <coughs> evenly echogenic area with no posterior wall, uh, no posterior shadowing. This is the longitudinal section. Now, it's always better to magnify and then see that uh, this is a solid well demarcated, evenly echogenic uh, focal area in the left lobe of the liver, this being the ascending branch of the, <coughs> sorry, left lobe of the liver, and this is the longitudinal section of the left lobe. Now, it, you have to differentiate it from the ligamentum teres because ligamentum teres may also appear in the same way. So where is the ligamentum teres? Here it is. Are we seeing the ligamentum teres in transfer section? Or is it a focal mass laying? you see that this area, this, this echogenic area in transfer section, when I give a 90 degree angle to the probe, it does not change its position, it retains its uh, rounded appearance. So, if it had been a ligamentum teres, it would have been become linear. So this is uh, not ligamentum teres, a case. So this is uh, one way of uh, seeing, differentiating between these two structures. And this second one is, If you are seeing the ligament fine enough, not seeing, go above, go to the transfer section. And see if you can get the ligament interiors. We do not, I mean in this patient, this is a serotic patient, It's not that clear in this uh, video segment. However, this rounded echogenic area in the medial segment of the right, uh, left lobe of the liver is a uh, Now you see it is not changing its shape at all. It remains as a rounded equogenic area, does not change its shape. When I rotate the probe in longitudinal transfer section, and this equogenic area is very much consistent with a hemangioma. Hemangiomas are very common in serotic livers. So this is either a hemangioma or a small nodule. 
human humor or the not, not you. First, first of all, I will say this is a human humor. Second, I will say this can be a not you. This may else. Ten point one into nine point three centimeters, uh, millimeters. Sorry. Okay, now coming to the normal magnification. If you see that uh, this structure. This structure, this one, this ecogenic area, I'm going to magnify is the ligamentum teres because when I give a sweep to the, you will note that when I will give a sweep to the proof, it will become linear. Here it is. It has changed into a thick band. This is the band, thick band of ecogenic area. And when I rotate the probe, it becomes uh, triangular, hypogenic triangular area with posterior shadowing. This is important. So this is the ligamentum teres in transfer section with posterior shadow, triangular shape. Now I'm going to rotate the probe 90 degrees. Here we are. And now it has changed into a thick band equogenic area. And now again it, it has become triangular. Whereas the popillion that you are seeing is this one. This is this is the hemangium or nodule in the natural segment of the uh, left lobe of the liver. And so this being a solid nodule, either hemangioma or a simple nodule, this is the ligamentum teres and this is the median lobe of fissure. Here we are. This is the median lobe of fissure, which is uh, the identifying uh, part for the neck of the gallbladder. Here is the gallbladder. This is the gallbladder. This is the gallbladder. This is the median lobar fissure. This is this triangular area is the ligamentum teres with posterior shadow. And here we are. This is the hemangioma. And you, you saw that uh, this hemangioma does not change its shape when I rotate the probe almost 180 degrees. Here it is. So this is how you differentiate uh, ecogenic areas of focal regions within the liver. Thank you.